guys i'm trying to get to 500 subscribers by june of 2022 help me out real quick just hit that subscribe button for me right now i'd greatly appreciate it thank you made it to zion about five hours it's about 4 30 the sun's gonna set pretty soon but we're gonna do the uh, canyon overlook trail before the sun sets let's go <laughs> Probably gonna hit that tomorrow. You're good. You gotta watch your step. Mad narrow. and stuff it looks incredible i made it up here in about 15 20 minutes um the the uh, paths are pretty pretty narrow a little scary but it's a pretty easy hike so that'll be it for today tomorrow we got angels landing and maybe the narrows maybe depending on how cold the water is that's that's the fear factor for me is the the temperature of the water i don't know it's this i'm a little scared but i might do it anyways we'll see Stay tuned, guys. All right, so I am parked at the grotto and that's the spot where basically the trail starts for Angel's Landing. It is 627 at night. It's completely pitch black out here. I just saw like a raccoon uh, walk by, which is kind of weird. Um, so it's going to be a real interesting night. I hope I don't hear any like noises outside or anything like that. Gonna scare the shit out of me. Yeah, so we're just gonna kind of stay here in the parking lot, sleep here until tomorrow morning, and then we're gonna start Angel's Landing. So, yeah, good night, guys. See you tomorrow morning. All right, so it's 6 30. I woke up like five minutes ago. It's still pitch black, as you can see. So, watch this. This is the front of my car. I'm gonna turn the lights off pitch black it's pitch black so once the sun rises i'm gonna get my stuff ready and head on to the trail Started 
Angel's Landing. It said it's about five and a half miles round trip. Lots of climbing to be expected. I don't know, I'm looking forward to it. I know it's gonna be really cold because it's cold already. My fingers get numb, it's pretty windy. And I think that's the killer, is the wind. But um, I'm gonna try and record as much as I can until my fingers get cold and I have to put gloves on and stuff. Then I'll be back at it, but this is it. Angel's Landing, let's go. basically like the first 20 minutes of it it's all incline my quads are on fire my calves are on fire it's gonna be a long hike but we're gonna keep going and we're gonna finish it because that's what we do here we try new things and we finish it. let's go for one hour honestly it's pretty hot I got two layers on a hoodie and uh, like a jacket and uh, I'm dripping sweat as you can see this is hard this is really hard if you're not in cardio shape or your legs aren't in shape don't try this well I'm not gonna say don't try it but just be prepared for hell because this hurts <laughs> My quads are on fire, my hands are on fire, my uh, calves are on fire. But we're gonna still go. We're still moving. Let's go. As you can see, there's lots of snow turned into ice in the past. Very, very easy to slip and fall. You don't wanna slip and fall this up high. So if you're here during the winter and there's snow on the ground, be very, very, very careful. spot where everybody's starting to decide whether they want to commit to the whole thing or turn around because it's very 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 icy it's very very slippery on my end but it's chained all the way up to the top um, at Would least up say? to that point there that's as far as I went <laughs> so. I want to do it but so icy yeah I mean it, it stays icy the whole time well i don't know again after after, after that, that point. i don't know but it's definitely up to that point and there's chains up there so <sighs> oh, i want to do it yeah, but yeah. i don't want to die you gotta no. pick one pick one well, damn like i'm not a big fan of heights you get up there and, like i don't trust myself yeah so. i think i'm on the west rim spring trail so it's the left side of the fork where you kind of split off into Angel's Landing or the West Rim Trail. Angel's Landing was too, way too risky. So we're just gonna do this one. It's another three miles, whatever. We'll just get it done. Let's keep moving. expect to be hiking 
in the snow like this. This trail, again, three miles long. Then apparently it splits into a fork that goes on a different trail. Once I get to that spot, or maybe a little bit earlier, I'm gonna turn around, go back towards Angel's Landing, and then go back down the same way I came up. And that'll be it. Let's keep going. So I made it pretty far. I'm pretty proud of myself. It took me about four and a half hours to get to this point. So I'm pretty okay with that. I still have that like, what if I can make it to the end kind of mindset, but I don't know. I just, there's a point in time where your body tells you to stop. And I think that's exactly where I'm at now. Still, view's amazing. Look at this, this is incredible. You'll never see stuff like this on the East Coast. It's crazy out here. And also, I discovered that there's a pretty cool echo going on. So let me see if I can get it. Hello! <laughs> That's so cool. That's so dope. Woo! Try new things. We're going back towards Angel's Landing, and then we're gonna go back down to my car to get something to eat, cause I'm starving. Let's go. Some older lady made it all the way up without any spikes. I'm gonna try it, let's go. Okay, we're on the chains. Let's keep going. Still got a long ways to go. Let's go. That's where the bathrooms were. We made it. Made it back. Let's go. Let's go. I can't believe I did that, honestly. I think the hike going down was a lot scarier than going up. But we got it done, I'm pretty happy. Shout out to all the people that I met on the trail, especially my guy Brian, 
Shout out to you. We're going to be linking up soon, man. Overall, I kind of committed to it just because I saw that the snow was a little, you know, wet and it had more traction. And I saw people coming down uh, with no spikes on saying that they did it. So I'm like, oh, shoot, like I have to do it now. But that that was honestly really, really scary. I wouldn't recommend it for the weak hearted. Honestly, it's a real scary trail, especially with the snow on in the summertime when it's hot. It might be way, way different, a lot more traction. Um, but just the simple fact that you can easily slip and fall off the side of the trail. It's it's real scary. So, again, not for the weak hearted. That kind of concludes Zion. For today, we're not gonna do the narrows. It's not enough time, but um, that concludes Zion. Next stop is Yosemite. Um, it's a 10 hour drive from here. So I might stop in Vegas halfway and then finish the rest the next day. So we'll see what happens. It's your boy Agnell encouraging you to try something new, like coming to Zion. This was incredible. Don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button for your boy. I'd appreciate that. We out here trying new things. This is what we do here, all right? I'll catch you guys at Yosemite. Peace.